hello guys welcome back to my channel it's Rafina. today we are going to talk about universities in canada usa and germany we're going to talk about the universities that, that the universities that offers full scholarship to both graduate undergraduate um and phd that's a uh, master's and phd so we are also going to talk about where these universities are located, talk about their country and their state. So the first university is Harvard University. Harvard University is located in Cambridge. It offers full scholarship, including accommodation, food, tuition, and all the like. And it's, um, it offers scholarship for masters and PhD. So you normally know that when you apply, you have to see if you are you are you can be fitted in the space. Like you need to like normally have a good grade. Um, your transcript has to be good, and your transcript like sometimes have to be submitted directly from your college or high school. And the second school we're talking about, um, University of Toronto. Normally, um, the University of Toronto is located in Canada. We all know that, and specifically in Toronto, it's really a good school and it's really good for research. It's one of the best universities in Canada and also the world. And Harvard is, you know, whenever we hear somebody come out, come out from Harvard, it has a high percent of probability for the person to have a job. So Toronto for USA and sorry, Harvard for USA and Toronto for Canada, they're one of the top universities in the world. So the third university is is um, is Yale University. This university is located in the United States of America, and is found in New Haven. That's that's the state. And the third is um, Princeton University. It's also located in the United States of America. And it's located in New Jersey. Like this, this, this really sounds familiar. And the fourth, and this Princeton University is for undergrad, grad, and PhD. And the fourth, it's Duke University. This university is located in North Carolina, in the United States of America. The fifth university, the fifth, we have a college that Agnes Scott College. Agnes Scott College is located in Georgia, USA. And we all know that normally to go to a college, like a community college, I think it's kind of easy to go to a community college and university. And maybe like the grading they have to take to go to community college would be much better because university, you know, university deals with a lot of competition. To understand a lot of brilliant students and all the like so if you're thinking of going to the university like getting a scholarship you really need to study extremely well that you have to have grades like a and a plus a good transcript record especially a transcript record maybe they'll ask for things like TOEFL, IELTS. so you have to just know the english requirements and normally she pass it like for us international students, you have to pass stuff here, maybe about 90 or 100. I you have to have maybe 6.7 or 8 point. So the seat is Hendricks College. This is located in Conway, USA. The seventh is Barry University. Barry University is located in the United States of America and uh, we also have um, Stanford University. Stanford is located in California. We all know California. It's a very nice place due to it. The seas is it has. It has a very nice, it's a very good touristic area. Yeah, so studying in California is really nice and especially for those that you're going to do like um, people work with the water diving and do baby botanists and all like if you're really specializing in biology you really be good at with internship due to the seas, the aquariums they have. Like if you're writing on maybe why you want to have a scholarship, you can also include that. 
due to the seeds and the aquariums that you can really do your research on if you're working on maybe a fish type of project and the other one is um that university that is the last which is that university that university offers a master's and a phd and it's located in berlin that we all know berlin is located in germany so this one normally you either take arts and all that but you know with germany you have to also study just go through the requirements just know their language go to their what they normally germany always require you to have a to a particular of their i don't know first beginning language so you just be prepared what i always advise you people is that uh, normally study well in school try to have a good grades try to have good transfer that's really what they need to give you full funded scholarship and full scholarship school funded scholarship is very nice don't have to pay tuition fees i know tuition fees are really very expensive don't have to pay accommodation and feeding so it's really very really, really really essential now why you have the time to study well do your best write application if you require for TOEFL I go to the exam focus and make it thank you guys for watching